I'm here fishing in Maryland right now. I can't cast far enough. So, I'm gonna use this thing to help me cast. So we're all gonna be hooking up our lines to the end of this drone so I can take them out. Fishing here with my Uncle Alan, my cousin Daniel, Jay, and my Uncle Bill. I'll sit on a rock. Go as far as you can. I, I, I will, I'll try and go as far as I can. Yep. But the thing is he, oh he's got a lot of line. Okay, yeah, all right, okay, okay. All right, okay, okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. That is so cool. You don't need a oh. boat. We can do this. You don't need a boat. No, you don't. You just need more battery for the drum. Hold on. I slowed down. I slowed down. You're about in the middle right now. I would I would even drop it right drop now. Drop it. That's it. That's there it. you go. That's so now I'm just flying it home. <laughs> no, I like to manually land it. Auto land, you know. Sometimes it detects the wrong thing. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're right. Yeah. Now wow. it's late. And that's from months of practice with the drone. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta really practice it because otherwise, you know, it's a dangerous, it's a dangerous thing. So I recommend if you if you have a drone, do not come try fish with it the first time you fly it. Definitely go out, practice on the field many times, get used to the, the flow of doing it first before you actually take it because you could really hurt yourself um, or crash it, hurt someone else, or you know. Or lose the drone. <laughs> check the regulations, learn the laws first before you do anything because a lot of places you're not allowed to fly. So just a little disclaimer, if you guys see me doing it, it's not all fun and games, you gotta learn how to do it, you gotta do it safely. Really far, huh? As far as your line. You, wow. you pretty much almost made it to the mono. There is no mono. <laughs> okay. Do I have oh, enough time no, to go no, there and back? Yeah? yeah. That 120 miles per hour? You could get yeah, there you in do one it. second. <laughs> you gotta do it fast, though. You, you gotta go to 120. It goes like 105. <laughs> but yeah, 105 you is like 10, seconds, 10 seconds. 10 back. seconds back. 10 seconds back, right? only be completely this. Right here. Something? Something's like. Whoa. Whoa. That's, this is the one we droned out. Yeah. Whoa! No way. <laughs> oh, wow! Here, Daniel. Come here. Come on, Come on finish it out. Come on, Danny look, boy. Look, look, The strongest is at 45 degrees when your rod is at 45 degrees. If you go too much, that's that's bad. So keep it on your waist like this. Reel it in. You want to keep it 45 degrees like that. There you go. So, look. You feel it pull? Then, look, look. Not too fast. Let it, let it fight you. When you pull too hard, you make a hole in his mouth. There we go. You caught that too. You you, you were like, oh, it's moving, it's moving. It's probably a big, fat catfish. Oh my God, you have so much line to bring in still. I know. All right, let someone else have a turn. <laughs> Can I try? Can I try? I, yeah. I want to see what it is. I'm very curious. What do you think it is, Aaron? A massive catfish. A massive catfish? What do you think it is? Catfish. A massive white perch. Massive yeah. white perch. A massive white perch. Pound white perch. Dang, That's Daniel, what is that? Yo, I gotta it's a get big it fat catfish. How the heck I dropped it out there. Oh, so we dropped because we took it to the channel. Awesome. The deep channel. Move it, move to the left. Move to the left, Daniel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want it to get stuck on the dock right there. Oh, it's coming in. It's coming in. Shark bite again. Can you get the net? Yeah, hold on. Keep, keep it easy, easy, easy. Don't lose it. Is that thing floating? All right, let's take our bets. I think catfish. catfish. Big catfish. There you go. Big fat catfish. You got a big old one. Nice job, Daniel. Wow. You're the winner today. 
Yep. Stinky old catfish. Tired. You're tired now? It's all no. really too old. Need it. All right, so that's how you catch a catfish with a drone. <laughs> <laughs> Big catch. No, watch it like slowly goes. I like it when it slowly goes. Bye. He slowly goes. And awesome. Beautiful. So that drone getting us into those holes. Mm -hmm. Working fast. out. The day started out with muddy water and no fish. Um, but we took the drone out to find these different spots and we found success. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Big one. Big one. Oh. Finally. Finally. Congratulations. That's a nice one. Had just a piece of squid ah. on there? Squid, this one's one. heavy. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, that was oh, big. Oh, that was a big one. All right. Oh, God. All Don't right. let me spying on the net. It's a pretty big one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, one. there's probably boot there, so you got size. So we're putting the, the, the jumbo slab on here. We cut it up into a strip, put it on here. Uh, we're doing both because if something small bites off the soft blood worms, this this strong squid will still be on there. Okay. And it'll stay on there. So it's like you always have bait. Oh! You wanna try? Taking Whew. forever to get in. That's the problem with the drones. <laughs> When you have to reset your bait, you have to reel in so much. You oh did it. Oh my lord. Dear goodness, goodness gracious. That's so annoying. That... Oh, you missed it? There's nothing on it. <sighs> Here we go, going up. Going up and out. There you go, Daniel. <laughs> Tell him you gotta keep an eye on the line. Bro, Daniel, keep an eye down here. Ow! Ow, 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 it's hurting me. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? You all right? Did you get Oh, my hand. Are you okay? Ah. You burned yourself? What did you try to do? Hold on to it? I, no, I was doing this and it, it just started hitting you me. You ran out of line. Keep reeling. So if a fish do, takes gonna, his... All right, that's good, that's good. Keep it tight. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a big one. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. It's a catfish, man. I'm eating it. Don't lose it. I'm hungry. All right, Daniel said he's eating this catfish. Oh, it's a big one, big one. Oh, this is fish. This is fight. Oh my god. I see it. You see it? That's a straight bass. Nice. Woo! Oh, yeah. I think I need a net. Should we just be hooking through the other one? Oh, you're on this line right here. Woo! Woo! That's a big one. It's so hard. It sounds like a Oh, yeah. Let me get you a plier. Plier right there. Plier. Let me take a picture. Here's my conclusion. It is not necessary to have a drone by any means. It is pretty much only for fun, but it, it, it can serve to be very helpful in times. What do you guys think? Is it unfair to use a drone for fishing? Let's start a discussion below. For me, it was pretty successful. Classic example, as soon as I casted it out there, as soon as I dropped it with my drone, we got a fish. Granted it was a catfish, we were able to find the deep spot, able to find the fish right away. When we were casting in close, in shore here, we weren't getting anything, it was, it was very slow, but when we took it out, we were, we were able to find it really quickly. Thank you guys for watching. We do a show 
We do our show every week. We sometimes do two episodes a week, so subscribe to us. Our mission here is to help as many people learn how to fish as possible. We do this by teaching you guys on our YouTube channel, by teaching us on our website. We've got lots of eBooks to help you guys. If you want to try the squid for yourself, we've got our bait, Squiddy Bits. We've got the Jumbo Slabs, which is a whole mantle of a squid. And we've got the tentacles of the squid. Check it out at sankoskipper.com too. It works for all sorts of different kinds of fish. You've seen it. Give it a try next time you're out. See you guys.